This terrifying story unfolded during a scorching summer day. Three guys decided to climb an abandoned tower, intending to leap into the water. If you don't jump, you are currently po <laughs> but All right, it's your turn now. Uh, I'll jump after after you. Are you a cowardly poop? Oh. The water is great. Despite his intense fear of heights, Terry succumbed to the pressure from the older guys. With a sly grin, Luigi tossed Terry into the water. The poor guy sank to the bottom. The bullies, showing little concern, casually headed home without bothering to check if he had surfaced. In a state of panic, Terry desperately clung to a boulder, accidentally overturning it. To his surprise, beneath that boulder lay a battered toy along with a note that read, Help me. Reaching the bottom, Terry managed to figure out how to push off and descend. When he finally surfaced, a kind fisherman came to his rescue. And what if I wasn't here? Kind-hearted Ernest offered Terry some tea, and they had a heartfelt conversation. Afterward, Terry thanked the man for the help and headed home. Night fell, and Terry went to bed. After a challenging day, he fell asleep immediately. The boy had a nightmare about drowning again and again. He saw that toy that asked for help. The kid woke up covered in cold sweat. It was already morning. I have to get this toy out of the water! Terry returned to the pond. Only this time equipped with a diving mask and fins. Having his diving gear, the boy effortlessly reached the bottom. Dragging the plush cat from the bottom, the guy swam back up. What were you doing down there? And who wrote this? Holy moly, isn't that our cowardly p Hey, sucker! Maybe we should get you a pacifier! The guy felt really awkward once again, embarrassing himself in front of the older guys. What a d <laughs> When he returned home, Terry decided to have a snack. As he reached for the milk, he heard some noise behind him. Turning around, he saw an overturned box and scattered flakes forming the word TV. It gave him an eerie feeling. It couldn't be a random coincidence. Do you want me to turn on the TV? Yet another victim of a serial killer. Just like with all previous cases, the child's body was not found. And the toy was left in the crime scene. Terry was confused. Could this cat also be a toy of the victim? Without wasting any time, the boy rushed to the police station. Hi, I have something very important to tell. That way. What is it this time? There. Where did you get it? This is a missing girl's toy. Oh 
the stand hung a photo of the missing girl, with a splash cat in her hands. I found it at the bottom of the pond. The police officer told Terry about the girl who went swimming without permission. And after that, no one saw her again. Only a rubber ring remained on the water. Divers searched the entire bottom, but found nothing there. This cat is quite strange. It's... Yeah, yeah, useful evidence. The cop didn't pay much attention to Terry's words, and the plush cat ended up in the evidence storage in connection with a serial killer case. Terry returned home. He was very upset that the cop didn't let him tell about the toy's message. To relieve stress, the guy decided to play his favorite game in Roblox, called Gertrude. It's a very scary, but also an interesting game about a girl monster from the mirror. The player's task is to survive and escape from her in the psychiatric hospital. On the same evening, Carlos and Luigi were hanging out in their garage. An upstanding citizen of Roblox assisted the police in a scandalous case about... Hey, it's Terry! Who does he think he is? We need to punish him! <sighs> Don't you have anything better to do? Shut up and listen to the plan! Late at night, the bullies approached Terry's house and wanted to break his window with a brick with a toy. This is gonna be so fun! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Engrossed in playing Gertrude, Terry heard a horrifying scream. He looked out the window and to his horror saw the toy lying in a pool of blood. Oh, God! Hello, police! Cops searched for evidence until the early morning, and Roblox TV reporters broadcasted live from the crime scene. Tonight, another mysterious murder took place in Roblox. As in all previous cases, a toy in a pool of blood was the only evidence. Terry was giving testimony as the sole witness to what had happened. Detective Alex Murphy listened to him with skepticism. Was there anyone outside? No one! Huh. By the way, my friend Carlos had the same huggy wuggy when he was a kid. Where can I find that Carlos? He usually hangs out in Luigi's garage. Alright, I'll check. Once again, Terry tried to tell the officer about that plush cat, sending him various signals. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. <laughs> if you remember something else, call me. Aww. Cops arrived at Luigi's house. After the nightmare he had experienced, the guy curled up in the corner and trembled with fear. The cops barged into his garage. Blood on his face. Psychotic state. He's the maniac. You're under arrest. Detained Luigi was taken to the police station. As a dangerous maniac, he was thrown into his cell with the most hardened inmates. <laughs> He's a child murderer. <laughs> uh. 